August 20th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms, chapters 96 and 97 from the Old Testament. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name, announce every day how he delivers. Tell the nations about his splendor, tell all the nations about his amazing deeds. For the Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. He is more awesome than all gods. For all the gods of the nations are worthless, but the Lord made the sky. Majestic splendor emanates from him. His sanctuary is firmly established and beautiful. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the nations, ascribe to the Lord splendor and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the splendor he deserves. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is established. It cannot be moved. He judges the nations fairly. Let the sky rejoice and the earth be happy. Let the sea and everything in it shout. Let the fields and everything in them celebrate. Then let the trees of the forest shout with joy before the Lord. For he comes. For he comes to judge the earth. He judges the world fairly and the nations in accordance with his justice. The Lord reigns. Let the earth be happy. Let the many coastlands rejoice. Dark clouds surround him. Equity and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him, and on every side it burns up his enemies. His lightning bolts light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of the whole earth. The sky declares his justice, and all the nations see his splendor. All who worship idols are ashamed. Those who boast about worthless idols, all the gods bow down before him. Zion hears and rejoices. The towns of Judah are happy because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are the sovereign king over the whole earth. You are elevated high above all gods. You who love the Lord hate evil. He protects the lives of his faithful followers. He delivers them from the power of the wicked. The godly bask in the light. The morally upright experience joy. You godly ones rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks to his holy name. God, thank you for rescuing me from my selfishness over the last couple days. I've just been consumed by some things I'm dealing with and some people I'm dealing with. And I, when that happens, my, my world starts to swirl around me instead of you. And I just love when you so clearly show me that it's not about me, <laughs> that it's about you, uh, through amazing Psalms like Psalm 96 and 97. And not only telling others about you, but just the fact of how amazing you are. These Psalms talk about praising you and worshiping you and uh, being obedient to you. And it's amazing because you uh, have the psalmist use words like, uh, O families of the nations, all the earth trembled before him. And to me, it's amazing because you're not speaking just to the Jewish people. You're actually talking through the psalm to the people of the world. And I get to be included in that um in that amazing family that you have created. God, again, I, I truly am repentant for getting caught up in my world. I get, I choose to get pulled down to worldly things and then I get caught up in them. And, and it's just so amazing to watch you work in my life and raise me above that through your words uh, in the Bible, through your words, through other people and strengthen me with a strength that I don't have to remove myself from those situations and realize that everything here on earth is so incredibly temporary that to to waste one more minute of it in my life is just ridiculous. I would much rather tell people about you and tell them about your grace and tell them about your strength that you've given me and, and truly tell them that it is all about you. So today is so fitting that I'm reading these psalms because today is a is a huge day of celebrating for me celebrating your love celebrating your forgiveness that you forgive me for being a pain <laughs> and thinking all about me and then you very graciously and and with mercy allow me to come out of that 
not only come out of it, but teach me things from it and uh, strengthen me so that I can go on and, and worship you and reflect you and glorify you, God. God, today I just thank you so much for your strength and for sharing that with me. God, I pray for everyone else who's listening to this video that if they're going through things, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's something very little or small or something big and grand and, and deep, that they can count on you, that all they need to do is cry out to you. All they need to do is say, God, please help. And, and truly in the Bible, you say, we don't even need to say those words. We can even come to you and say, I don't even know what to say, God. I just, I just need you. And you will completely understand and already know exactly what we're, what our heart is saying. How incredible to have a God that loves me, who knows my heart better than I know my heart, who knows what I need in my life better than I will ever know what I need, and loves me beyond anything I can imagine. God, I just ask that everyone who's listening to this video feel that love, hear that love from other people, and, and totally acknowledge that you love them, that you will take care of them, that you will guide them, and that you will set their path for them. It's us who needs to give up that control and that desire to be attached to worldly things in order for those things to happen. God, I so want all of my days to just be worship and glorifying days to you, telling other people about you, reading your word, and just understanding how to be better the person that you created me to be. God, thank you so much for lifting me not only out, but up above the drama that happens in my life and allow my heart to be fixed on you and in you alone. Please help keep my heart in that position for the rest of my days until I can join you in heaven and worship and glorify you forever and ever. In your son's name I pray. Amen.